Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome to a new guide video. We're, go we're going to be taking a look at the survivor's favorite foods, which was just added in the May Quality of Life bundle. The too long didn't watch for this video is the food you see listed next to the survivor gives them an additional 15 food. But in today's video, we're going to be discussing the lore behind why these foods were chosen and if there's any potential, you know, changes in the, the balance. Now, 15 food is not a huge deal, so nothing here is going to change the game radically. But some of these some of these choices definitely make the character a little bit better, and some of the choices, they can't make the character worse, but it is going to make mains of that character going to be a little bit sad. So, before we get into it, let's look at Warley with a big fat X next to him. Warley does not have a favorite food. He is a master chef, and a master chef should always be challenging his palate and trying new things. So how could he possibly pick just one food when he needs to keep trying new foods? Uh, this also plays into his downside where he has to eat a variety of food, but he just doesn't have one, so you're not going to see him for the rest of this video. Kind of. Anyways, let's start off with Wilson. Wilson says, Wilson's favorite food is bacon and eggs. And his quote, his examination for bacon and eggs is the perfect breakfast for a man of science. Bacon and eggs give you 20 HP, 75 hunger, upgraded to 90 hunger, 90 calories for Wilson. That is a 20% increase in food on an already exceptional recipe. Bacon and eggs is one of the most popular late game recipes in the game, bar none. And Wilson gets a buff on that. Now, this won't make Wilson amazing. It's not going to change anything, but a new player is highly incentivized to pick Wilson. He's very good at winter. That's his main job. That's why he was the way he is for a single player, because in vanilla, there was only what is now called autumn and winter. And Wilson was exceptional at that. He would really help a new player get through it. He didn't do anything else special, but he could get you through that first season. And eating bacon and eggs, getting a little bit more food from an already exceptional meal, great. On top of that, this is going to teach new players to build a birdcage to get the eggs that they need for this meal. With those eggs, they're also going to be able to make pierogies, another exceptional recipe, primarily for healing. And that's those are just good skills that new players have to learn. So we're probably not going to talk about uh, the recipes as much with other characters, but this is a great choice. Not only is this a, a recipe that Wilson loves to eat, he calls it a perfect breakfast even, but it's going to help new players learn some good skills. This, mwah, good job, Clay. You did Wilson proud. Moving on to someone they did not do proud, Willow. Now, her favorite food is spicy chili. And when examined, she says, now that's my kind of heat, and is very excited about it. Sadly, spicy chili, you may not even remember this recipe, exists in the game. It takes at least 1.5 meat to make it, and at least 1.5 vegetables. It's a decently expensive recipe, and it kind of competes with other recipes, such as meatballs, bacon and eggs, honey ham, things like that, that you could make with pretty similar ingredients, to be honest. So you probably haven't seen that, uh, that this recipe that often, and I really don't blame it. This recipe, because most people don't know about it, it's going to heal 20 HP. It's going to give Willow 52.5 food. So normally this recipe is you need to eat two a day to survive. She gets that extra 15. I don't think that's going to change anything. Now the lore here obviously is Willow likes hot things. This is spicy chili, so put two and two together. That makes perfect sense why she would want to have a nice hot dish to set her mouth on fire, just like she likes to set everything else on fire. The sad thing here is this is just not a typically good recipe. It does have a fringe benefit. It increases your temperature by 40, and Willow does freeze faster than other survivors. So maybe you'll see some Willows trying out this recipe, you know, while the patch is new, trying to justify their, their character's buff and maybe get them through winter. And maybe it turns out to be good. I just don't see it. Let me know in the comments down below if you are a Willow main and if you were happy about this, because I feel like if I, if I was a Willow main, I would be a little bit like, ugh, that's not good. Although she did not get the worst of this update. That char Those characters are coming later, and we'll talk about them when we get to them. But moving on. 
Oh, Wolfgang, everybody's favorite strongman. Nobody is concerned about this man's balance or him having a balanced diet. Now, he, the reason we have two quotes here for his favorite food is because there's two forms of it. His favorite food is roasted potatoes. That is the cooked version of potatoes. Now, when you examine the uncooked version of potatoes as Wolfgang, he says, is Wolfgang's favorite veggie. And when you examine the cooked one, he goes even farther. Is golden brown, texture like sun. Wolfgang loves potatoes. And potatoes are great for Wolfgang, to be honest. This is kind of a weird one. Because roasted potatoes are already really good. But increasing their hunger value by 15 doesn't actually do anything. Like, maybe that turns potatoes into kind of a stay mighty food. So you can just, you know, eat, I think, like, four potatoes a day to stay completely mighty. Three potatoes a day. Something around there. I think it's like four potatoes a day. Four or five. Didn't do the math on that. Should have done that before making a video, but I'm a professional. So perhaps this has a niche, like, if you have a wicker bottom or a wormwood in your world who are farming up potatoes already, maybe this helps your Wolfgang explore and run around while mighty. I don't think this impacts his boss battles. If you want to have something to give you a bit of food and healing, you're probably going to use pierogies because that's 40 healing. You're going to need a lot of healing in that boss fight, whereas 37.5 food, you're not going to drain before you take 40 damage most of the time. So it's not bad. It's, it's just something Wolfgang's never going to farm on his own. And I don't really see it impacting him, which is probably for the best. A lot of people are really grumpy about Wolfgang's spot on the balance. I say there's no problem, but, you know, why add fuel to that fire? So good choice. It's something that lore-wise Wolfgang loves, but it's not going to change anything. And... Speaking of stuff that won't change things, let's let's turn it around and say something might change here. Wendy's favorite meal is the banana pop, an excellent recipe from Shipwrecked. When you bring it over to DST, not quite as excellent just because you have to get ice from the surface, you have to get bananas down from the almost at the ruins, you have to get them from the uh, monkey villages or monkeys themselves. Now, Wendy is actually one of, if not the best character in the entire game. For farming bananas she's very good at that with abigail um like it, it takes almost no skill you just go down there and let abigail wail on them she three shot no four shots monkeys they have 125 hp don't they Ooh, well it's still it's four shot aoe and she has all those new potions she she easily farms bananas no problem uh and her buff on this recipe is actually insane the other ones already gave a decent amount of food you know, Wilson got that 20%, Willow got a 40% increase, Wolfgang got a 60% increase on the potatoes. Wendy here is actually getting a 120% increase in food. She's more than doubling the food value of a banana pop. The only thing is, nobody eats banana pops for the food. You're pretty much exclusively eating it for the 33 sanity. Maybe also the 20 HP, just in case. So, I don't see this changing the world. But maybe we do start to see Wendy's, you know, bringing back some more bananas for the team. It gives them that little bit more food for themselves. And it also gives their team a, you know, solid HP and sanity restoring recipe. And bananas themselves, when you don't cook them, they have a decent shelf life. Plus, Wormwood's favorite food is cooked bananas. So maybe, you know, she's working together with Wormwood. It's, it's a thought, and this could benefit the game in a positive way. I just don't know if it's going to quite get there. Now, something I do think is going to get there. WX. WX78. His favorite recipe is the butter muffin. When examined, he says the innocence adds flavor. Ha, <laughs> good old WX. Right? Butter muffin is already an excellent recipe. It's, it's really good, but it's a fringe recipe that most people don't cook. The biggest downside of the recipe is it's 40 second cook time. So even though you can make it with just one butterfly wing, one red cap that you picked out of the deciduous or something, and two twigs, it, it still takes 40 seconds to cook. So you probably want to get a couple of butterfly wings, like you know four or five, and cook them all at once, that kind of thing. But this is a big buff. This is a 60 or 40% increase in food. 
on a recipe that's already good. And then WX, don't forget, he has that benefit where he can eat yellow and red food for full value the entire way, right? That's that's his perk. He doesn't care about freshness. So this is a 52.5 recipe that has a 15 day shelf life with n and it never goes stale for him. That's really good. That's really good. It also heals 20 HP, which sometimes matters, but this, I think we're gonna see anybody who's playing WX is going to be making a fair bit more butter muffins in the coming days. So I would watch out for this one. This recipe has always been good. And now I think we're going to see more people actually utilizing it and, you know, building those extra crock pots to get the multi cooking going. The downside, of course, is generally you just want to eat the butterfly wings and keep exploring. Now WX is going to kind of want to farm the butterfly wings, picking up some mushrooms as he explores and then bring them back to base later. What's he going to eat in between while he's exploring? Uh, we'll have to see how it pans out in actual gameplay. Now, Wickerbottom. Wickerbottom's favorite meal is surf and turf. She describes it as the perfect dish. Now, surf and turf is a bit of a weird one for her because it's kind of like the banana pop. Nobody eats surf and turf for the hunger. They either eat it for the healing because it gives you a massive 60 HP, one of the best recipes in the game for healing, and also an exceptional 33 sanity for a recipe that's super cheap. Super cheap. You can do this with two eels and two monster meat, which is insanely easy to do if you're down in the ruins. You can do this with three fresh fish and a monster meat if you're at the surface. Not That's actually kind of expensive, but if you're down there and you can get two eels, two monster meat's pretty cheap. So it's a really flavorful recipe. She likes it. It's a pretty high class recipe, which is pretty cute because she kind of likes Maxwell, so maybe maybe we're going to see more of that lore where they're connected. We'll talk about Maxwell's because they're kind of related. I, I really wish Clay would have taken the extra step and given Wickerbottom and Maxwell the same recipe as their favorite because that, that would have just been super cute. If you don't know the lore about them, there's definitely some implications that they kind of like each other. But anyways, I don't think this is going to change anything. You're still not going to make surf and turf for food, but when you make surf and turf, you'll get some extra. So it's, it is what it is. Like most of these buffs, it's just fine. It's not something people, it's not going to change the way people play the game. Not like butter muffin. Speaking of changing the way people play the game, as, as a newly admitted Woody main, I genuinely think this might change my primary food as Woody. Now Woody's favorite food is honey nuggets. He describes it as one of my favorite meals. Honey Nuggets is usually viewed as a punishment recipe for if you mess up the recipe for honey ham. Uh, to make Honey Nuggets, you have to have less than or equal to 1.5 meat. So any meat value in the crock pot and then at least one honey in the crock pot and you're good to go. The literal worst way that Woody could make Honey Nuggets is a full-size meat and three honey and that would be 53.75 food or something like that it's a little bit over 52.5 so the literal worst way he could make this recipe almost breaks even with just eating the ingredients by themselves that's pretty insane this buff actually is relevant it honey nuggets is much easier to make you tend to have honey lying around it's not hard to get a monster meat or even a morsel. I mean, one ice staff on average gets you 10 morsels from birds that you can then kill with just an axe or a luxury axe, something like that. So it's this is actually a very cheap to make recipe. I think it, it definitely merits testing. It's likely that it's still better to just use um, honey ham. Because you get that little bit extra healing and it's not significantly more expensive to cook. But then you get 75 food. But it definitely, it, it has some merits. Woody doesn't tend to want to fill his stomach. So getting only 52.5 is, is nice. And whenever you end up not transforming, the extra food does matter. And when you do transform, it's not a downside to have filled more. I think that we're going to see more of this in the future. At least for Woody. Probably not on other people, 
Because, like I said, it's basically a punishment recipe for trying to make honey ham but not putting in enough meat. But time will tell. Time will tell. Maybe some people will play Woody, they'll make this, and they'll start using it on other characters. Find a way to make it nice and cheap. We'll see. <sighs> Wes. Wes is best. So Wes, if you didn't know this, and this is true, Wes is French. And so are crepe. Now, fresh fruit crepe. I can't actually say that properly, but we're going to keep rolling that R randomly because that's what my head says is a French accent. Fresh fruit crepes can only be crafted by Warley in a portable crock pot. So Wes cannot even make his favorite food, which is kind of tragic. Actually, everything here is tragic. Fresh fruit crepes gives you 150 hunger. It's buffed to 165. This is the smallest buff any character gets because it's only a 10% buff. Now remember, every character is getting the same flat plus 15 hunger or 15 calories, whichever you want to call it. But Wes is getting the smallest benefit out of that. It's only 10%. And if you haven't caught on yet, if you don't play Wes, Wes's max stomach size is 113. So none of those numbers I just said matter in the least. Literally, it doesn't matter. Before or after the buff, it fills his tummy exactly the same. The only situation this matters is if the fresh fruit crepe are in their stale freshness, if they're yellow. When a, when a fresh fruit crepe is yellow, you get 66% of the food value, which means it goes down to 100, and then you get 66% of the, you know, the favorite food affinity, which is 10, so he gets 110. So it's basically a full stomach uh, refill if it's stale. Why are you letting your fresh fruit crepes go stale, <laughs> Wes? I, it's super flavorful. It is a French dish. It's a classically French. Everyone looks at crepes and they know it's French dish. They look at Wes and they know he's French. He's a French mime. The lore here, it's dripping. But I just don't like that Clay is adding fuel to the fire for people insulting Wes or people who pick Wes. This is just one more thing people are going to look at and be like, he can't even make his favorite food. I don't like that. But the lore is there, so I'll stand with Clay on this one because lore before, you know, lore before balance, which is why some of the characters do end up getting some really good things. But if we really want to look at a character, like Wes is a joke character, right? So... It's fine if this is the joke they want to go with. Maxwell, however, is not a joke character, and I do not understand why they did this to him. <laughs> Maxwell's favorite dish is lobster dinner. His examination quote is, And here I forgot my bib. You know, because he's got to protect his suit from the butter. Duh. Of course you're going to wear a bib. That's fancy. Lobster dinner is a classically fancy, or in other words, dapper meal. So it's fitting that someone who sees himself as insanely dapper would like a meal like this. This is dripping with lore. The only problem is this recipe is absolute garbage and is double garbage for Maxwell. This is a butter recipe, which means you have a 2% chance of getting this from punching a butterfly. It's, it's very rare. On top of that, you also have to fish up a lobster. Like, it's not easy to get this recipe. And if you do, it's not significantly better than Wobster Bisque, which is made with ice instead of honey. <laughs> On top of that, this recipe heals 60 HP. Maxwell only has a max of 75 HP, so you're almost always wasting the healing. This recipe gives you only 37.5 food, giving Maxwell 52.5 food. It's again one of those recipes that you are not eating for hunger. You're eating it for either the HP or the sanity, and then it gives you 50 sanity. Maxwell is the character who does not stress about sanity. He heals like 6.6 .6 sanity a minute. He has a free Tam O'Shancer at all times. This is a recipe Maxwell will never make. Maybe you'll see one of your friends make this recipe because they can. Maybe they rolled that random butter, they had nothing better to do with it, and they just want to show off that they have a Wobster dinner lore before balance but god i feel bad for maxwell i don't understand why they didn't give him surf and turf 
It's also a classically fancy and expensive meal that fits perfectly with his motif, and it would pull double duty, showing that, dude, him, he and Wickerbottom could have a really cute date together, having some surf and turf. We could see, Clay, you missed an opportunity here. I'm actually genuinely disappointed for Maxwell on this one. So we got to move on. Sorry, Maxwell. <laughs> Sorry. Wigfred. Wigfred's favorite meal is turkey dinner. She describes it as a true feast. Now, turkey dinner is actually an all right recipe that you don't see a lot of people make because a lot of people don't really farm drumsticks. Now, sometimes you'll incidentally get drumsticks from, you know, gobblers when you're picking berries. Wigfred doesn't tend to pick berries because she can't eat them. You can use it for meatball fillers, but a lot of Wigfreds just forego the, the entire berry scheme. You just don't need it. Um, now, this recipe will give her 90 food, which is most of her stomach. She only has 120 stomach. Tiny, tiny baby stomach. So this is basically her, her meaty stew now. And it's not super expensive to make. You can get this from buzzards in the desert. Uh, you can get this from gobblers and then use the, the berries as filler or give the berries to your teammates. It's, it's a fine recipe. I've made this on characters at times when, I, when I've had a gobbler spawn or whenever I've seen a couple buzzards just die or I fought a buzzard. But it's not something I'd ever go out of my way to get, primarily because it has a six-day spoilage time. Compare that to, you know, bacon and eggs having a 20-day spoilage time or honey ham having a 15-day spoilage time. That's pretty much the nail in the coffin for this recipe. It's just one that you'll make at base. If you happen to have the drumsticks, it's fine. And then if you're Wigfred, it's double fine. You get that extra benefit. It's nothing to write home about, but it's nothing to be mad about either. This is especially after looking at Maxwell. <laughs> now, Winona. Winona's favorite meal, favorite food, is a vegetable stinger, known as a spicy vegetable stinger in a single player, but they changed the name for DST, not sure why. Winona, when she examines this recipe, states, I could use one of these after a long day. And don't, couldn't we all use a nice cold beverage after a hard day at work? Now, vegetable stinger is a recipe that you may not be familiar with. This is one of those, those recipes that is okay it has a niche in the very late game but it's kind of just too expensive to use early game a lot of farm crops just don't tend to make it because of the the price of having them and, and this is just another one of those examples you have to have either an asparagus or a toma root you also have to have ice and then you have to have another 1.5 vegetable filler it's just a bit of work, especially for someone like Winona. She'd have to build a ton of farms to do this, which is not generally advised. So you're probably never going to benefit from this. Not to mention, this is, again, one of those recipes you do not eat for food. You're eating this for sanity. And that's its niche. Like, if you're ever farming bundles worth of food, like if you're going on a wicker bottom binge and you're reading, like, hundreds of books and wrapping up, like, three, four, five hundred recipes at a time, something like that, Vegetable Stingers actually probably the best and most farmable sanity recipe in the game and you couple that with it also has a 15 day spoilage time and that's important because for the first one third of that spoilage it gives you 33 sanity and after five days it gives you nothing as soon as the food goes yellow you get no sanity from it so that means a banana pop who only has three day spoilage time has one day of giving you that 33 sanity. After one day, it's useless if you made it for a sanity restoration item. So the fact that this says five is really relevant. Even if you're bundling and unbundling food, there's that time that it's out of the bundle, and eight minutes is a lot faster than you're thinking. So banana pops don't really work as a sanity recipe for the for the super late game, mega world, mega basing, you know, sanity food bundle. Vegetable Singer does have a niche, and Winona, you know, she gets that little bit of extra food. It's going to have no impact on her. But, you know, may maybe. Maybe you'll see somebody make this if they happen to get one of these from their friend. Who knows? Weber. Ah, oh, another case of flavor above balance. But it's not as bad. It's not that bad. Now, Weber's favorite food is ice cream. And when he examines it, he says, we dream of ice cream. There could be no more fitting thing. And also, you'll notice a trend here. The children of Don't Starve 
have desserts as their favorite recipes. Wendy had the banana pop, which she ate with Abigail when she was young. Weber has ice cream, and we'll see warts in a little bit. Kind of a dessert. You could call fruits dessert. Same with Wormwood. He's also a child. But that's the theme, is kids like desserts. Go figure. It's perfect flavor. Mwah. Now, Weber has some struggles with sanity, so maybe they'll actually make ice cream. And this, this gives him 50 sanity. And, of course, this is a recipe you make for sanity, not hunger. But Weber does have that slightly larger stomach than other survivors. He has 175 max hunger. So 15 extra hunger stacked onto this recipe is probably not going to be wasted. So if you're living in the Oasis Desert and you're using like a Morning Star to farm up some, some dairy products, the electric milk, maybe you'll see more Webers doing this. I don't know. I'm not a Weber man. I don't know if people generally struggle with his 100 sanity, his 100 sanity cap, but this can help, and it's dripping with flavor. Those kids love dessert, and Weber loves ice cream. Good choice. Flavor before balance. I, I'm with you on this one, Clay. Oh, Wartox. Oh, this one is the best lore we have. Now, it's completely pointless. They even basically say it's pointless whenever you read it in the compendium. Wartox's favorite food is the pomegranate. And when he examines this, he says, You need only eat one sea, you, you. And that sounds kind of weird. Now, the reason I said this doesn't matter is pomegranate is actually a great vegetable or a great fruit. I don't know which one. Whenever you cook it. I think it's fruit now that I say it. It's great fruit when you cook it. Because it gives you 20 HP and it gives you 12.5 hunger as a normal character. But Wartox only gets half value from mortal food. So even though this is his favorite food, he gets less food and less healing than any other survivor could get from this. But the reason this is his favorite food is exceptional. Right? So follow me on this. In classic symbology the fruit of knowledge which you know corrupted adam and eve is depicted as an apple that's that's the classic uh imagery of it right but a lot of scholars argue that if eden were on earth it would most likely have been in the middle east apples don't grow in the middle east but pomegranates are a red fruit that is native to that region so a lot of scholars actually argue that the pomegranate was in this uh, mythos, the fruit of knowledge, right? And then if you combine that and start to like pick apart his, his examination quote, you need only one seed, you realize, oh, he's making a joke. You, you need only one, you need only eat one seed, right? And that's basically going back to the idea that a little bit of knowledge is a dangerous thing and it's the fruit of knowledge. It's, it's a big leap, but that's definitely what Clay was going for here. And I applaud them for putting some lore on this character. He shouldn't have a favorite food that actually matters because he hates mortal food. But they got to throw in that little lore pointing to like his demon or satanic nature, however you want to look at it. And mwah, good job, Clay. Shout out on that one. Well done. Well played. I think a lot of people are just not going to notice that. And they're going to be like, oh, a pomegranate looks like a soul. That's why he likes it. It's, it's not that. It's the fruit of knowledge. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's both. Maybe that's why the souls are red, because of the fruit of knowledge being red. But good job on that one, Clay. All right, Wormwood. This is another character who I think might have his balance changed based on this. It's, it's pretty hard for these minor buffs to do that, but maybe. Wormwood's favorite food is cooked bananas. His examination quote is, mmm. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded so weird. Now... You'll notice that he has a red zero for HP. Uh, he still does not get HP from food. Food fills his stomach, but not his heart. Now, cooked banana gives you 12.5 food. It's upgraded to 27.5 food. That is another 120% increase, much like Wendy had with the uh, banana pop. The reason that this is meaningful is if Wormwood is doing a ruins rush, he most likely is relying on sleeping strats to heal. To sleep, you need a lot of hunger, and you convert that hunger into HP into also sanity with, you know, via a tent or a fur roll. So 
even though this seems like a buff that just doesn't matter, Wormwood is already dripping with food. He, he's one of the best characters for getting food in the game. Probably second only to, to Wickerbottom, honestly. And being second to Wickerbottom is a pretty big achievement because if you guys watch my channel, you know what I think about Wickerbottom's balance and how she is absolutely broken. So he's he doesn't need extra food from anything, right? But maybe this helps the maybe this helps people with that early ruins rush. They combo lichen, they make a fire pit, not a campfire because that'll set him on fire, and they cook up the bananas and they use that to be able to sleep and they stay at high sanity and high HP and they can clear it out a little bit slower than other characters. It's not great. It still shouldn't be his job. It's not going to make Wormwood the best Ruins rusher, but he won't be the worst. And even if he is the worst, he's at least a little bit better at it now. And that's good. For a tiny change like this, it's really good that there might actually be a useful upgrade. But time will tell. If you're a Wormwood main and you're excited about this, let me know down below because I don't know. It's something that has to be tested. To see if it actually matters. Now something that doesn't matter. Poor Wurt. Her, her favorite food is durian. And she describes it as. Mm, smells a bit like swamp. Right. The only problem is nothing changed. He already had this perk. And in fact now that other survivors have. The favorite food. She actually only. She, she gets less of a benefit than other characters. Because vegetables for her, vegetables and fruits, already give her 33% more food. Which means that 25 is more like 34. Which means she's only getting about 6 additional food from her favorite food. Which is kind of sad. I, I don't know if this was just a mistake by Clay if they didn't catch it. Because maybe they don't play Wirt. Maybe they didn't think about it. Or maybe they picked that 15 number to kind of be in line with the fact that Wirt already got 15 extra food from a durian. Uh, she also doesn't lose HP or sanity because it is her favorite food, which is good. Those are good changes. Those are positive changes. But it's it's just, I, I really don't know if this was a mistake by Clay or not. Time, only time will tell. Maybe they'll patch this up to about 49 or 50. Because she should already be getting that 33% more on the 25, and then you add 15 on top of that, or even 15 times 33, so 20 on top of that. It, it should be closer to 50. It wouldn't change anything. She's not going to farm durians, but it's just weird. It's just weird. So, basically, that's all of the characters and their favorite foods. Of course, remember, Warley does not have a favorite food because that's not in his character to pick a favorite food. A chef has to have variety. But yeah, let me know if this changes the way you play any characters. Let me know if you're happy about your character's choice. I'm looking at you, WXs and Wilsons out there. Let me know if you're you're sad about your character's choice. <coughs> Wes <coughs> Maxwell down below. And as we say in my country, Otsukare Samades, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!